We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Oh, headshot! Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another League of Legends video. This time I want to talk about LOL Replay and getting it to work anytime there is a new patch. Now, this came up for me when the new Freljord patch was released. Uh, all of a sudden, my LOL Replay client stopped working. The terrain started going all black. It was very frustrating because I had all these videos I wanted to make and uh, couldn't do it. So I did some research and I found a solution which I think works. Uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So... Uh, what you need to do is you need to find two folders and keep them open. The first one is this deploy folder, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is the directory. I'm going to go ahead and show it again. Now, it could don't get totally confused right now. Just realize that I probably have this installed in a different directory than you. My directory for League of Legends install is e video games and then League of Legends. Um, but for you guys, it's probably going to be computer C. Um, and then program files, and then look for League of Legends. But from so so go computer C program files, and then follow me from here, and then League of Legends, and then uh, once you get into League of Legends, follow this directory. You want to go to Rads, and then you want to go to um, projects. Now lol underscore game underscore client. Now releases. Now at this point, sort by date modified. If you want to go ahead and right click, make sure your date modified is there and find the newest one. For me, this is 0.0.0.0.162. And then go to deploy. Now this right here, this League of Legends.exe, this is what you want. You want to go ahead and right click and click copy. Now go ahead and pause, put this folder away, open up a new folder, and then uh, find this directory. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that from the beginning as well. Let's go open up a new folder. Now you want to go to your documents. Now you want to find LOL Replay. Now you want to go to, let me double check, Data. And now this is kind of where things get a little bit tricky. Basically what you want to do is you want to create a folder with the patch number that corresponds with uh, when you click on the replay file, this little number right here. Um, so for this latest game that I played with Ezreal, you can see uh, actually as I'm clicking down there, the patch number changed. There it's changing again. Um, I, I don't fully actually understand exactly why or when it changes, but you basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that, you, that whichever replay you want to open, you, uh, you copy this number down and create a folder with that exact same number. So right here, 3.6.0.389, that matches this one. You create that folder and then paste that League of Legends.exe that we took from this folder, or you could copy or you could drag and drop, you could copy paste, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that this gets in here. Now for any of these other replays, um, you see I've got all these different numbers. If you want to open them up, just make sure that you have that number as a file in here and then you have this League of Legends .exe pasted into that file folder um, and then from there that's pretty much all you have to do um, then what you can do is when you get to the most recent one you can just go ahead and right click hit repair hit OK yes OK and now from here you should be able to watch it you just go ahead and click play if it asks you to do anything just go ahead and hit no, because um, I think it might just continue to say that there's some errors. But for me, this worked. I was able to watch a game. There was no black terrain. I was able to get through and watch the game just fine. So again, you want to make sure that this number has a folder created in your LOL Replay data folder. And then you want to take the League of Legends.exe from this folder directory from the most recent one and paste it in there. And then you should be able to watch your LOL replays as you so desire. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, but uh, hopefully this is helpful if any of you are trying to uh, get this to work after the Freyl Yord patch. But uh, actually the information that I got was related to patch 3.5. And then I just transfigured it into uh, my situation and it still worked. So hopefully this will work in continued patches, you know, once we get to like 3.7 and on and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section, and I'll see you soon.